Ooh, what is up, you guys? I'm the boards. Welcome to our Pokemon Wi Fi battle. Wait, you will throw the course, the Scavenger. And today, we're going to begin Roxing, of course, in a PU Wi Fi battle. And this is going to be the last PU team I ever create. So let's hope to God it's a good one because I'm definitely trying this time to make a super, super viable PU team. It's actually hyper offensive with a bit of a bulky stature around it, but it's pretty straightforward what it wants to create. And we're going up against uh, Marowak, Dudrio, Moal, Maractus, Meditic, and Pseudo Wudo. So, all I really can do is, since Pseudo Wudo naturally is a lead with Sturdy, I really can just lead off with Luxray, which has the possibility of a Volt Switch. Uh, it has Intimidate together with Max Speed and Adamant. And then it followed up with a Cacturn, uh, Mild Variant, Super Super Offensive, uh, Max Special Attack basically, and Speed, Pelipper, Max Defense, Defogger. And then we have, of course, um, Dusknar with an Assault Vest variant, a uh, hyper offensive variant, of course, with a bit of an HP, massive amount of attack, and uh, yeah, hurts a lot, hurts really, really hard. Camerot, Stealth Rocker, also special attacking offensive, with a bit of a special defense to be able to utilize its Solid Rock a little bit. Red Eyes, Rock Polish set, max speed, modest, uh, able to outspeed um, the fastest speed to report with the Float Seal after one Rock Polish. So only Scarfers are issued with that. Uh, so I, I like the team, I think it will utilize itself well. I'm kind of fearing Roxing, who I know are a bit more utilized in PU. But with all this said, let's go. So right, I do predict right here from the get-go, and he will actually start with Sudowoodoo. While that's great, it still is one of those areas where I can't really stop Rock from coming up. I can, of course, leave with Rock Square, like I said. Go for Volt Switch, hoping it doesn't switch out to Marowak, which would have been super, super annoying. But um, it does stay in, and I predict, of course, the rocks. And I see that with the special attack or the special offensive, since I'm not special offensive, I'm trying to say, that did a lot of damage, which showed me that it probably is a bit more of a fragile variant. Uh, as you go for self rocks here, all I really can do is go for a defog, uh, because there is no reason to have rocks this early in the game. And since I can't utilize myself and take them away, I will pretty much do that. As uh, what is this comes in, which is a Maractus. And I did make some jokes about that, that everybody like, oh, I don't know which typing or what the Maractus is, is that in my Pokemon? But yeah, now I see it in full pledge power, I guess. As he go over a spiky shield, which I forgot this guy got, so <laughs> fair enough. As a quack is gonna get, of course, uh, some result damage on it, but nothing that is kind of dangerous as I can U-turn yet again. I was kind of fearing would it set up spies, would go for a cutting guard, as the U-turn kind of reveals that it's probably it's a defensive set. But um, from the life of me, Toxic was not one of those things I figured it probably would use, as of course he goes for Toxic. And I, like on camera here, poor guy, like I haven't used him since I do believe Aura's start here with the Mega Evolution when Mega Camera wasn't in you, how about that? But all I really can do from this point on is actually set up rocks. I figure he tried to not try to offensively go up against me, which he actually does. As he goes for Giga Drain, which does a plethora of damage on me. I am special defensive though, but as you guys see, that hurts. And that pretty much settles the deal with my camera, being of course now forced pretty much to, well, to basically die depending on what I'm facing. Now I'll go with the Lava Plume here, because the Lava Plume is close enough to kill it when I kill it, uh, due to the uh, extreme offensive nature of camera. Being slow, but his special attack is definitely up there. As he goes to Terry Cruz, of course, B and uh, oh, Cruz. And um, I will not get the burn because, you know, why would I? But luckily, I do pack the Earth Power and I know I'm faster. Unless he's carrying a lot of speed on this one, he will not be able to outspeed it. Um, and I basically, I do believe my set is that I have at least, um, what's that, 64? It was some creeping of, of base 60 mod, I believe. Or was it 50? And uh, never mind, I, I do go first at least, so Sudo is gonna get knocked out, so no more rocks for him. The unfortunate part is that due to me being forced to stay in, I'm getting even more residual toxic damage, and he got a free switch in to, of course, Marowak. Now, I cannot speed Marowak if it isn't um, speed invested, which uh, I should say this. Of course he is. But that also is a good thing because that means that Dark pulls from a Cacturn and is wanting to KOing it. Because that means it doesn't have any special defense investment, or at least so I think. So I'm just gonna go to Ash Bell, but of course Maractus. And there's no reason to go for Giga Rain, Dark Pulse is a 1 KO, like I said, if it is not special defensive. 
as uh, I do get a crit here. But due to him telling me that it was offensive, I know that would have been a one hit kill no matter what. But yeah, Maractus coming through as Yummy is gonna come in with, of course, the Meanwhile, 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 Meanwhile. And um, I can't do anything against this guy. Or Dark Pulse will hurt it, but Player Off will kill me. So I'm just gonna go to Quack. As he goes for Sword Stance, I was like, ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, we don't want this. We don't want this. Uh, I should be able to not outspeed him if it doesn't run any speed. Which he is actually doing. But luckily for me, I do survive 1, no, 2 HP. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I do believe that it's a roll of a lifetime. Because I do manage to survive, I don't get the burn. Uh, but I do manage to survive it. Which is awesome, because had I not had leftovers, that would not have worked, now would it? No, I'm not super scared of mobile anyway. Right now, of course, now it's under 50%, because now I have Pokemon that does... I would speed it, luckily, like Millionaire here, for example, so I can freely go for a Volt Switch and I should still be able to KO it. And I think that's what I'm doing. Uh, or did I go directly for a Wild Charge? I no, I went for a Wild Charge against the Maractus, and, um, and it, doesn't, it, it won't do a whole lot. It shouldn't do a whole lot. So basically I'm in a position here where, you know, do I stay in, do, do I take the Toxic, trying to Volt Switch out, risking the Spiky Shield, or do I actually try to go directly to Cacturn? And um, I'm gonna say this. I never thought Maractus would be annoying. But one of those Pokemon that is it's bulky enough to survive the offense I'm trying to bring. Uh, so I decided to horse switch out to not get Resil damage here. And go directly to Ashbell of course. Be in my Cacturn. As he go for Toxic. And that's that's bad too. I, I won't deny that. But figuring that he'll go for a Spiky Shield here trying to stall me out. I'm actually just gonna set up a layer of Spikes. Because now I kind of need to enforce to get um, all kinds of residual damage instead. Because I need to hurt this guy. I can only hurt it after one spiky shield anyway. So figuring that would probably go for it. I knew it would be the smarter call to do. As spikes are probably not going to help me a whole lot this game. But at least I have the option. So he's going to get his left towards recovery. Nothing really big to it. As I'll just go for dark pulls this time. And uh, you guys will see something marvelous. Like Cacturn. It's probably one of those mods that people are forgetting um, due to it's not being extremely viable, but damn, it hurts! I mean, if this thing is outspeed, then goddamn, something dies. I really can't stress it enough. As he goes for course labor spikes here, and um, I figure I just need to keep attacking. Um, I'm not gonna survive the toxic turns anyway. Toxic turns and life orb pretty much kills me, and um, even if he went for a spike shield here, there would be no reason for me. Try to dumb it down basically as he actually sacked Maractus there. Probably went for another spikes, figuring I would do the same. So it's a good call. Uh, and it's one of those 50 50 situations, really. As Dudryu is gonna come in. And uh, I was basically like, hoping, don't take quick attack, don't take quick attack. Let me go for a sucker punch. Let me kill you. As uh, I will say this, I don't kill him. But my god, if that is not close, then I don't know what is. As Dudryu is gonna fall. Um, now I had two options. I either go to um, a Pokemon without speed, or I went for Glacius, the Regi, Regi Ice, hoping to go for Rock Polish, as I know this thing can't hurt me super effectively due to Dujo missing out, of course, on any kind of fighting, um, sorry, fighting stabs, or fighting in general. So I just go for <laughs> Rock Polish. I don't know what I'm saying. Fighting hit moves like Superpower. Uh, anyway, I do outspeed it that with Zero and Thunderbolt is going to straight up Oko it. But from that range, it probably dies to, you know, tackle it at best anyway. As at this point here, um, he's going to bring Moal. I know I can't take uh, the Sucker Punch, but there's no reason for me of switching out. Because he only has the Meditate left and did um, and, and this Moal. So all I really can do is uh, lose my Registeel, then go into my Luxray, getting the Intimidation, because there is no way in hell that Luxray lives a while if he decides to sack it. And I do believe there's still damage here on um, Mobile. Will, he will die basically if he switches out. So knowing that, I can just straight on at it, go for, I do believe I'd go for a Volt Switch in case he switched out basically, because that would have meant that Dusknor basically was going through that lockdown situation where we just win the game. But yeah, of course he's just gonna sack it. I mean, like I said, he doesn't survive the residual damage anyway. I kind of figured that as I went for Volt Switch. That probably stupid, but doesn't matter. Because all I really needed was the Sad Onion to be his last spawn alive. And forcing him to, of course, not be able to go for High Jump Kick. Only send Headbutts. And Headbutts do not kill my Dusk Noir, mind you. 
but also uh, if it is a scarf set which is serious me here by speeding my Lux Ray, that means that the Dusk Snore will want it kill with, with Shadow Sneak and there shouldn't really be anything to it. So Faratul is gonna come in and just wrap up the game. So Roxing, thank you so much for this battle. I had a lot of fun actually for once in PU. Very nice structured team and I actually enjoyed using a lot of weird mods that I always wanted to use but never did because, well, and you really allowed it. So, Alright, that is actually my 400 battle upload in Generation 6. Um, I will say this guys, I have a plethora of other uploads coming. I'm just gonna have to find the time to record them. But uh, to Roxing, you know, thank you so much for this game. It, it's one of those things, like, not still haven't used every Pokemon in the book, like Dusknor for example. Being able to use it in an environment here that it actually works, it's it's kind of cool. I, I do appreciate that, I actually do. So thank you for actually asking for a PU battle. It definitely had me thinking a while to make a serious team again with, of course, how the meta looks. And MOA, what a perfect threat that is. I mean, I know it. I think it's super powerful in RU and even in NU. Having that Pokemon in PU is outrageous. I have no idea what it just does there. Definitely shouldn't be sane. It's just as bad as Fro, basically. But hey, we did manage to survive it somehow, I should say. Uh, but yeah, thank you everybody, of course, for watching. Make sure to you know, leave a like if you like the game. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care.